72 hours, god damn, I feel amazing Damn, I'm in the matrix, my mind is looking on cloud nine And this line is never on vacation Start up that mind around me and go Hey, what's going on guys? It's Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I do a little bit of everything. I do ESO. I just put out a slam uh featuring the, the Drewski slam, so to speak. I do literally everything. FPS, MOBA, you name it. I've done it. I'm pretty decent at it. Uh, so if you clicked on this video, you're trying to figure out what settings are best uh, for us controller users. Controller Master Race. Hells yeah. Uh, I play on PC, so it's even more... Uh, important that you have really good controller settings because to deal with all the M&K people it's very difficult um, especially since your sensitivity is capped so we're just gonna go over um, what I'm using so why should you even listen to me anyway well um, I've got the 5500 twice completely solo I'm working on my third this season uh, currently at uh, I think like 4600 something like that I really haven't played much this season with the Iron Banner going on yeah so I will be writing this out on stream uh, probably in the, the next week or, week or so to get my unbroken title. So, if that gives me a little bit of cred. And plus, I'm a filthy dirty uh, Stasis Hunter main with backers. So, uh, you, I know a thing or two about a thing or two. So, some of the very important things to uh, kind of go over first. I'm going to keep this short and sweet as possible. If you're using controller, I do suggest uh, getting used to max sensitivity. Especially if you're on PC, you definitely need max sensitivity. Uh, just to keep up with uh, the flicks that the PC player is able to do, which we are not. I'll look center and keep that turned off. Controller vibration, keep that turned off. Uh, double press delay, keep that as low as possible. Now, we're just going to go ahead and get into the bread and butter, the very important uh, settings. Now, it's very important to have all your keybinds kind of customized. If you plan on doing anything high tier, you know, getting a broken tile or whatever in PvP, you need to go in and play around with this and don't just use a preset and you know, like puppeteer or side claw you know whatever you need to go in and go around feels look comfortable to you now your melee needs to be uh, very important you need to be able to spin and melee at the same time you don't want to have to melee take your finger off the stick so whatever configuration that is for you is great now one thing I will point out, this is very, very important. The hunter dodge ability, this goes with any uh, class abilities. You need to have this set to a single button. This shaves off milliseconds instead of having a double tap by default. Like the hunter dodge is double tap by default. By doing that, you're wasting like 100 to 200 milliseconds of time, which you could be reacting and making counterplays. So, it's important. I have Elite 2 series controller. Have mine on a paddle back here one more interesting thing to note is if you do play around with uh, your slide configurations and your hundred dollars sometimes people use that on the same uh, button I don't I, I have my slide on my stick so I can control it as well uh, yeah I have my hundred class on a paddle on the back now when you're in the air if you need to slam down if you're the stasis class for whatever reason changing the warlock Icarus dash fixes that issue uh, I was run I could not figure out for the longest time because I would have my dodge ability, you know, on paddle. And when you're in there, you know, you just hold your dodge ability and you fall, you know, whatever, you slam to the ground. Well, unless you have your Warlock Icarus Dash put on press, uh, it doesn't work. Why it's like that, I don't know. Just, you know, my loss your game type of thing. Or really nothing else to know. I still have my swap weapons on whole Y for power, Y for normal. These aren't really too important, but uh, things to note is your hunter class ability or any class ability. If you have paddles, use them. Now, uh, when it comes to video, sound, all that, it really doesn't matter. It really depends on what kind of rig you have. I I, I use a laptop, so I re really don't have the best of settings. If you're on co console, it really doesn't matter. None of this means anything to you. Now, when it comes to gameplay, uh, this is actually very beneficial uh, to some people. If you change your colorblind to... Ch Trata, Tratanopia, I don't know. It sounds like a flavor of ice cream to me. If you change this, it does help contrast the backgrounds and your heads-up display to what's in the background. With that being said, I also have the red color. To me, teal stands out the most compared to most backgrounds in Destiny. Uh, you want something that's you know highly contrastable to make sure your aim is uh, as flawless as possible. And th that really does it. For the controller settings, or nothing uh, too interesting to note. Um, just things to take away from this. In short, try to get good on a higher sensitivity. 
play around with your custom buttons. This is very, very important. It's kind of something you feel comfortable with and just don't use a preset. If you're really going to take this game seriously and try to get Legend in PvP, you really need to go through these as thoroughly as possible and figure out how to minimize your button pressing. Um, it helps out a lot. So, thank you guys for watching. Try to keep it as short and sweet as possible. This has been Horcrux. Please give the channel a like and sub. It really helps me out. keeps me motivated. It keeps me wanting to make more videos such as this. More Slamtages. Go check out my last video. It's on my main page. It's pretty dope. Not going to lie. But, thank you guys for coming to the channel. This has been Horcrux. Deuces.